All right, uh, a couple of things uh, I like to mention here. And this is all coming from the questions that I've been getting. And I understand a lot of people have a question about this card, especially people who are in the green team. Uh, they're wondering, hey, man, did I make a mistake purchasing the RTX card, spending ridiculous amount of money on it? Well, I'll tell you right up front. And this is coming from a guy who also purchased the RTX card. Yes, we all were a bunch of fools purchasing the uh, NVIDIA graphics cards because no game is utilizing the real-time ray tracing right now. Maybe one game or two maximum. And what the AMD did here, they really gave you a more flexible, uh, reasonable pricing and more flexible and reasonable performance for the pricing of their new architecture graphics cards and I think you get a far better deal with the AMD uh, second question that people ask me is uh, why don't you use the MSI afterburner guys I am familiar with the MSI afterburner I'm familiar with all these other different software they have uh, fraps and everything else okay I don't live under the rock I have internet I have PCs as you can see clearly okay I am not out of the loop. Whatever information you can get, I can get as well. Okay, so let's make that clear. Uh, the reason I'm not using the MSI Afterburner, it's not because I have something against MSI Afterburner. I've used it before, but I don't have to use it because I already have with Radeon Overlay, I got everything that I need. This is like a doctor chart. Everything is here. It tells me my GPU, uh, percentage, it tells me my uh, GPU clock speed, tells me my peak clock speed, tells me my temperature, tells me my wattage, power wattage, how much am I using, uh, how, how hot and warm is the card, the temperature of the card, gives me the graph here, the frame time, I can do a testing while I'm uh, playing this game. The game advisory tells me the average frame rate is right here, 128 frames per second on 3840 by 1080. Uh, so I got everything that I need here. The performance, I can select the different metric options. I can also select uh, different frames per second value. I, I kept it at 243 FPS. I can do a performance again. I can go up here. And start performance right now and they're gonna start doing the performance and you will see it so I got everything that I need here okay it tells me my FPS right there 138 frames per second so everything that I need is here and all I have to do is this just press the uh, alt and R key and it all shows up it's all here the Radeon overlay it's perfect and it doesn't lie. Why would I bother with the MSI Afterburner when I already have a built-in convenience, uh, convenient, convenient software? But there's individuals out there who's going to say, oh, uh, I don't think that that software is accurate. Like, dude, seriously? So you're trying to tell me uh, the AMD who built this graphics card inside out with a 7 nanometer GPU? It's going to lie. They're going to lie to people. Come on, man. The only person who's going to say that is the person who has an agenda against red team. Somebody who's in the green team. Only a fanboy would say that. And I'm sorry, but I don't know which word to use. There's always that bullshit that's going on on the internet. You know, I'm with the green team. I'm with, red team, with the red team. Dude, I've been with all the freaking teams. I'm going to go with what's best for me. You know, I don't, I don't give a rat's ass which team you're on. Red or green or blue or yellow, I don't care. I don't care what software you use. MSI, Afterburner, whatever. Asus, whatever you use, I don't care. EVGA, Fraps, there's so many of them. I don't have to use it because I already have it. It's already here. Why would I lie? Why, why would it lie? Why would it lie? Why? Come on, it's not gonna lie. It ain't gonna lie. 
As Art Morgan would say, it's not going to lie. Why would it lie, dude? Tells me everything I need to know. Everything I need to know, it's all here, dude. So, hopefully that answers that question, you know. Now, in terms of image sharpening, do I see any um, difference when I turn the image sharpening? Well, he here's what I have found out. Yes, you can see it. But it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to notice it on the small monitors. I think you really have to connect it to a uh, television. Uh, I did connect this to my Samsung KS8000, and I did notice a little bit of a difference. But it's not going to be like a drastic difference, guys. You're going to see like the trees be more sharper outlined. There will be more sharper detail outline on the asphalt. And like in the distance, like the trees, the clouds, the rain, you will see the rain dropping in uh, more vividly. But I don't think you're going to see, I don't think you're going to notice like a drastic difference. The difference is there, but it's something that you have to look for. It, you really have to kind of look for it. Uh, but it works. Look, it works. It, 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 it is sharper and it's running at 138 frames per second. So, uh so I just felt like clarifying some of the stuff here because people have been asking me. Same thing goes about 240 uh, hertz right here. All right, the reason I have this put into it's because the Alienware monitors have a built-in software that it's monitoring the refresh rate of your monitor. And if your refresh rate drops by any weird-ass reason, this thing is going to read it if it drops. The reason you don't see a G-Sync indicator, it's because I'm using a AMD card, so therefore the G-Sync will not show up. But you don't have to have a a, a FreeSync monitor to utilize 240 hertz. As long as your monitor supports 240 hertz refresh rate, they will be there. Okay, if this monitor and if this game didn't support 240 hertz, well, guess what? It wouldn't say 240 hertz. It would say 60 hertz. Okay, so, you know, the problem with some people out there is uh, they're always going to say something, something just to suppress uh, the, what this card can do. You know, I'm sorry if you have to spend $800 on that RTX 2080, but you should have known better. You should have waited. You, you should have known that there's... I even did a video. I even did a video where I said there is no point of getting the RTX cards right now. No one's going to utilize that much power. No developer is going to be using the real-time ray tracing. And using the real-time ray tracing really... It doesn't really uh, do much in terms of performance. It slows down the performance. Now, you can see image sharpening a little bit better here. Like when you when you look on the sides... You see it a bit better. But, um, yeah, guys. This is like my second day testing this card. And um, I'm very, like, uh, listen. I'm so glad that the AMD is back. Because I'll be honest with you, man. I had nothing but, but headache with, with NVIDIA. Uh, the, the GeForce experience is just a brutal, brutal broken broken experience the software sucks uh their drivers are like being constantly updated every other day and um i just I, i'm just not a, i'm not a fan of nvidia anymore i'm sorry because i had nothing but headaches with nvidia this is cheaper you're getting a better uh reasonable performance and it's much more convenient for you to use it I think what the AMD is doing is it's they're on the right track. They're they are on the right track, and uh, there you go. I'm gonna do obviously more testing on this and the FreeSync monitor, which I have it also connected to. All right, I'll be doing a bunch of tests on on both of these uh, cards with the FreeSync, okay, monitor. But let me tell you, so far so good, okay. There you have it.